Hi folks, this is our lesson Total Communication, lesson 16, page 40, ok? Comunicação Total, lição 16, página 40, ok? Today we're going to talk about how, how to increase your Portuguese vocabulary power. How to increase your Portuguese vocabulary power. That strategy we are going to use today, it, it's not normally in the school books, but it, it's part of the study for interpreters, translators, okay? This is very important. This is an easy way to understand the other language and take advantage of it, okay? Let's take a look. In number one, I put here an explanation about what this lesson is. Then we have here a question. How similar are English and Portuguese? How similar are English and Portuguese? Are they similar? I would say more than you can imagine. Let's go to the facts. Letter A. English has basically 68% of Latin and Greek. Yeah, that amount. This is the first evidence. Okay? This is the first evidence. 68%. 6% Latin and 8% Greek of the words. If you have any doubt, simply check your dictionaries and specialized grammar. To verify the facts. Okay. Uh, and I put there. To remember. To remember that French. Which is a Latin language. Okay. Many people don't know it. French is a Latin language. Right. And this language French. Contributes to 29% of the English words. That number, 29%, is included in the 6% of Latin. Latin is the whole, right? It's like Portuguese. Portuguese is a Latin language derived from three other Latin languages. Uh, French, Italian, and the Spanish. French, Italian, and the Spanish. You put them together, we have the Portuguese language. But all of them are Latin languages, okay? Okay, let's go now to letter B. So you can increase your vocabulary power easily. Yeah, because if we have 68% of similarities in, in our both languages, you can, you can try to get that advantage for your side, of course, right? So in letter C, that way you can count with those 68% of similarities to increase tremendously your Portuguese vocabulary. You, you can't imagine. Okay? This is a study that you can make and you're going to see that you, if, you, if, you, uh, have, uh, if you have the possibility to increase your vocabulary, okay, why not? All the words you know in English, 68% of them come from Latin. So, we have an identity in that area. Letter D. To make it easy, we have to identify in English the Latin and the Greek roots. Okay? To make it easy, we have to identify in English and the Latin the Greek roots. On that task, I will help you. So, let's get started. In number two, I put there, let's start with the suffix Asian. Asian. That Asian in Portuguese will be ação. Ação. Pay attention that the suffix Asian will be changed to ação. A, C, C, D, A, O. Let's see the vocabulary. 
For example, in the first one over there, education. You see, education. It is underlined, Asian, in education. So, that's the area that we're going to substitute. Then you put educação. In Portuguese, we, we say educação. That's shun. At the end, you change for C, civilia, A, O. Over the A, you have a tilt. Okay? Education, educação. Educação. You can take, uh, take for sure that everything that's, that ends with Asian comes from Latin. And if it comes from Latin, we have a counterpart in the Portuguese language. So, you can use the language if you know that. That's why I'm showing you here. Anticipation. Anticipation. It's practically the same. We say in Portuguese, antecipação. Antecipação. Instead of anti, we say ante, ante. We have a letter E instead of the letter I. Anticipation in Portuguese, antecipação. Antecipação. Okay? All right. Let's see another one. Violation. Violation. Violação. We say violação. That's our pronunciation. Violação. Okay? Violation is violação. Another one. Variation. Variation. Variação. Variação. Variation. Variação. You see that? Variação. Communication. From our total communication. 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 Then we have their comunicação. Uh, in the past, communica comunicação in Portuguese was written with the double M. But we don't have in Portuguese, let me tell you, double M, okay? Uh, double B, uh, double... Normally we have double S, right? And double R. Just... Uh, when you have double C, okay, one was dropped, so no more double C. That, that's why we have some modification here in the written way. Communication, comunicação. They decide to drop one M because it was not useful. <laughs> so, they decide to drop it. Comunicação, communication. All right. In this page I put here, on your right, a rectangle in red, and it, I make an observation there. All the English words with the Latin suffix Asian have an equivalence in Portuguese, except for starvation. <laughs> because starvation, starve, is not Latin, okay? Starvation is not Latin. But it was created by analogy from the word starve. It was a contribution of the English language. You created that word. Interesting. Starvation. Everything with Asian is Latin, but not starvation. Okay? And it's possible that new words will be created following this procedure. Yeah. Yeah. New words come, people create new words. Sometimes they get, uh, they get uh, new words from Latin, which is a, a, a dead language, considered dead language. They go in Latin to get some new word, and they put there to work. One example was, for example, uh, the word for bus, omnibus. In the beginning it was omnibus. I, I read that uh, when the vehicle the, the vehicle was made, they were thinking about what name to give to that vehicle. Then they went to Latin to get the name. In Latin, 
omnibus, omnibus means for everybody, for everybody. And the vehicle was for everybody. So they decided to put omnibus. You just say bus, and we say omnibus. The omnibus is from Latin. In English, you have that story there. Okay? So sometimes they go to Latin to get the new word. Okay? It, it's common. All right. And then you see those words. You have to pay attention in the pronunciation. Try to get the intonation. It is recorded here, right? And you can create sentences with that Asian. Try to create sense in Portuguese. If you create them, you can send them down here and we can correct them to see if you know how to make a sentence in Portuguese. You just follow uh, this rule, right? Okay. Let's go to the next page. We have something more. All right. In the next page, we have a continuation of that suffix Asian. I put there conversation. Conversation is conversação. Conversação. You see that Asian? São conversação. You see how it is in Portuguese. So ancient Portuguese uh, is quite similar in some ways. Recommendation, uh, recommendation. Double M, one was dropped because it's not useful in Portuguese. Then it became recomendação, recomendação, recommendation, okay? Degradation, degradation, degradação. Degradação. Deportation. Deportation. Deportação. You see? Degradation. Degradação. Deportation. Deportação. Ok? Resignation. Resignation. Resignação. We say resignação. Resignação. Resignation. All right? Okay, there's some suffix with Asian. Just to tell you, there are more than 1,500 words with Asian in English. Okay? We, we can't list all, all of them here, right? But if you know these words, probably you know, then to make the Portuguese way is just follow this rule here. Right? That's why it's not so difficult to increase your, your vocabulary power. You can increase it tremendously. Let's see other suffix. Let's go now for number three. In number three, we're going to see the eon, eon at the end. Like profession. You see, profession. In Portuguese, instead of the e, profet. We put I, profissão, profissão, but it's the same. What is your profession? Qual é a sua profissão? Sua profissão, your profession. Profissão, you see profession? Okay, intercession, intercession, intercessão. It's practically the same. You see there? Intercessão. Admission. Admission. Admissão. 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 Admission. The admission is here. Admissão é aqui. Come here for admission. Vem aqui para admissão. Admission. Succession. Succession. You see, you have double C, but for us, it makes no difference. So, one was dropped. We don't have double C anymore in Portuguese. So, it became sucessão. Sucessão. Sucessão presidencial. Presidential succession. Like the word success. Success 
we drop one C, suceso, okay? So, succession, in your language, you pronounce that's it, succession, yeah, you pronounce it. But the important thing is, it, it had no sound, so it was dropped. Sucessão, sucessão, okay? Expansion, 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 expansão. You follow the same rule. You see, sometimes you have double S and sometimes you have just one S. Yeah, because between uh, consonant and vowel, you don't need double S. You can use an S, right? But between two vowels in Portuguese, if you put just one S, it gives us a, a sound of the letter Z, okay? It's different. That's why you have that double S. And you follow the, the, the rule from Latin. That's the way it is. Double S. You see, expansion, you don't have double S. Just one. In Portuguese, too. Expansão. You see what you add? Um. That um at the end. That you all, you say um. Um. Can you say um? Um. Um. Expansão. Profissão. Intercessão, admissão, ok? Convulsion, 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 convulsão, convulsão, ok? Convulsão for convulsion. Suppression, well, you have double P, we don't have double P, so it was cut. Because it makes no difference to have one or two in terms of pronunciation. So, supressão, supressão, not suppression, with double P, just one, okay? Supressão, depression, 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 depressão, depressão, depression, okay? Depression. On the other side, permission. Permission, the same, permissão, permissão, permission, permissão, the same, impression, impression, impressão, impressão, impression, extension, extension. That X in Portuguese, in this case, will have the sound of an S. Extensão. If we were to say extension, extensão, instead of extension. But in your language, it is extension. In Portuguese, extensão. Extensão. Tension. Tension. The same. Tensão. Tensão means tension. Okay? Tensão. Tensão. Tension. Precision. Precision. Precisão. Precisão. Precisão is precision. Precisão. Got it? Profusion. Profusion. Profusão. Profusão. Okay? Fusion, fusion, fusão, fusão, fusion, fusão, fusão, is a fusion, fusão, confusion, ok, confusion, confusão, you see that, confusão, confusion is confusão, so as you can see, uh, Portuguese and English, have many things in common and there are a lot more than that things here than those things here excuse me uh, we're gonna see more suffix and and the prefix too uh, we're gonna take probably two more classes to put all that together to give you an idea and I will stimulate you to create questions sentences in Portuguese, using those kind of, those vocabularies, okay? 
those kind of vocabulary because if you follow the rule, you can simply do it in Portuguese. Okay? So, okay, sure. Okay, people. Uh, this is going to be our class for today. I hope to see you in our next class to follow that subject. Because that subject is not ended. <laughs> it, it must follow, of course. Okay? I would ask you to give your subscription, subscribe the channel, to give your like, if you wish, right? And hope to see you next class. Thank you.